Alright, what's good everybody, it's your boy Ace, so we're back here with another Mugen video. Today we're going to be putting JJK, the class of Jujutsu High, against class 1A. I feel like both of these new gens are very, very strong, and I'd love to see them go against each other in a battle of wits between the two classes. Let me know down below, do y'all think JJK can take it with their amazing class of sorcerers? Can they take down the soon-to-be top heroes, man? I'm not going to lie, this one's going to be a crazy-ass matchup. Before we get into that, I say it every video, make sure to sub to the second channel because we've been posting every single day on there as soon as we get to 1k we're going to be doing a hundred dollar giveaway to everybody that sub to the channel also make sure to join the discord down below because you're going to need to be in there for the giveaway also many announcements and a huge announcements coming very very soon but i hope you all enjoy it's your boy iso and let's get right into the video i am not going to be the only one to lose here guy sensei please let this work it is now Never. Fist of a guy like Rock Lee, leg weight all can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed, eight gates flow get by D. Fist up, put me no talk, just hands. All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Call Ace, and we're back here with another Mugen video. And as y'all see today, we're gonna be putting. Uji's class against um, Deku's class, almost like Itadori, but I kind of like calling him Deku a little more. We're gonna be putting him against Deku's class. We're gonna see if Yuta's basically his older class of Megami, Nobuta. Maki and Yuji can take on Deku, Kirishima, Bakugo, and Todoroki, man. No Lemillion today, but we're going to be seeing this clean-ass matchup. Make sure to join the Discord so y'all can give me more video ideas and more things to come, man. We have posted all month in January, and we are now in February. Can we post all month in February? I feel like this will be a crazy little challenge. We might be able to post all year, man. 365 videos coming very, very soon. But I hope you'll enjoy it and shit. Let's get right into the action. All right, man, we're going to be doing this in kind of like a tournament of anime standpoint. We're going to be using four characters on both teams, and we're going to do a little turn battle. So we're going to see who's actually taking this one home. We got Bakugo and Nobu are starting it up. I actually plan on using this Bakugo to make an edit eventually for you guys, just so you guys can have a cool little Bakugo edit. But I have to um obviously do it. I haven't actually decided to make him yet. So eventually I definitely will, though. I just, like I said, I have to get to it. But I definitely will make um a Bakugo edit. And just more characters coming soon, you know, the more that I have more time to make them. Right now, Nobara is actually starting off this video getting right. This beating Bakugo down, which actually I thought it was going to be the reverse. Nobara is going crazy to start the video off. Okay. That's what I like to see. Now we got Kirishima in here, Red Riot. We're going to see how Red Riot's going to get because, um, I'm not going to lie. Y'all know Kirishima is one of my favorite characters in Mugen. I would definitely like to see a little edit of him as well. But, um, it just depends on, uh... What kind of moves that can get added for him? Lots of characters are starting to come out inside of this Mugen shit. And I'm starting to enjoy a lot of the new characters, man. But I feel like Red Arai definitely has potential just because he has this form. The Red Arai form could definitely be crazy inside of Mugen. Okay. That's what I like to see. Okay. Oh, it's, it's looking slow. That shit does damage. That shit hurts. Okay. Right now, we got, we got Maki... Doing not nah, not nah, not Maki. Uh, Nobara actually putting in a lot of work. She might go to yep 2-0 against Class 1A. I'm not gonna lie. This is the Jujutsu Sorcerers are starting to put in that work. Okay, now we got Total Rookie War Arc. I feel like this is where her reign ends because we know Total Rookie War Arc is a monster. He has the AOE of a god and he just goes insane. He does not take any mercy for anyone. Yeah, he's he's literally he's not gonna stop. We got Megami and we got Sukuna on the team. So we definitely have some strong people that can go against Todoroki. But Todoroki is a monster. So we're going to see if he can get, you know, stopped on his path. Okay. Oh my god, the damage. Maki is just not prepared for the, the, the work. But she does have the combos. We know she does have the Soul Fire. Rippy, I think she was made by Soul Fire. Do not quote me. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry completely. But... I know whoever did make this character has the combos and he knows how to make characters completely. Like, full respect to you. And Todoroki moves stacks with two fire blasts to end off Maki. Okay. Well, Maki, Maki is pretty bad. Now we got a new Megami Fushiguro OP that just came out. And we're going to check out his little kit right now. Honestly, this is the little Megami showcase. Oh, nah. Okay. We got his little, we got his little stand coming out. Not his stand, but his, uh... His, um, damn domain. I, I don't know why I call it his stand. I haven't watched JJK in quite a while, so my apologies to anybody that's triggered right there. I'm not gonna lie, he's comboing crazy with his domain out. This is what I like to see. 
Okay. Right now, it looks like um, Todoroki has the advantage right now, especially with all this firepower. But um, Megami definitely could. Megami is doing decent. He kind of looks like he's relying on his animals a lot. Like he's not really so good in combat. So this is kind of like in into the show. Okay. How do y'all think Class 1A would do against the Jutsu Sorcerers? Like, I know JJK got a pretty strong burst, but they're kind of, like, under, uh, under, I forget what the word is. Like, they just don't have too much experience. So the class isn't as strong as they could be, you know what I mean? Especially in the anime. In the manga, I know shit pro definitely has changed. But in the anime, I feel like JJK Sorcerers are kind of, you know, behind. I feel like Deku might be able to solo the entire class alone. With his new feats and everything, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion, though. I don't know for sure. Just because, you know, you got people like Sukuna. Sukuna's a monster. Right now, it looks like Todoroki might win this barely, though. That was definitely a clean-ass fight, a good-ass fight. But Todoroki barely been able to scrap that one home, which was very surprising, actually. Okay, now we got Sukuna here. It's over for Todoroki. <laughs> my boy Todoroki, it's over for him. He did put in the work, but... You know, Tsukuna's domain, step into it, you're not, you're, you're going home. You feel me? It's over. It's over. Now we got Deku versus Sukuna. I'm not going to lie, I did not expect this to go into the final showdown between the last two people of their teams. This is going to be very, very exciting. I'm actually going to be kind of excited to see how this one turns out. We got Deku versus Sukuna. Sukuna, I mean, Deku, can you keep up with the monster, the monster inside of Yuji? You got the hero veins inside of you. You got All Might inside of you, man. And you take on what's inside of Yuji. Okay. We got a little bit of combos. Sukuna is like just toying with Deku so far. This is not looking good for Deku unless he pops, you know, some. There we go. 20% will help him a little bit, but that's still not enough. He has to go 100% if he wants to keep up with somebody like Sukuna. And we already knew that, though. I'm not even gonna lie. I knew that. I don't know if y'all knew that, but I'm pretty, I already knew that. Like, oh, see, I had to start that over. That was my fault. I accidentally fucking clicked the button on my controller that takes Sukuna's health. And we was not finna go for that. Hell no. I was not finna let Deku get a free win. I'm sorry, y'all. That was literally my fault. But at least y'all get to get a little bit of extra content. I know y'all I know y'all like to see the extra fights anyways. But okay. Sukuna's up, starting to get a lead, just like he did last time. Barely anything different here. Okay. Yep, that's gonna do damage. And the fact that you can't dodge that or do anything about that is just... It just makes that move so insane, man. It makes it like... One of the best moves in the game, just because he can literally pop that at will, and it just does so much fucking damage. Deku has his chance here if he wants to pop 100. I was about to say, if he doesn't pop 100% here, then that literally is his fault. Okay, we got 100% Deku, got his health back. Can he take on Sukuna? Oh my god, Sukuna is still smashing that boy. No homo. Oh my god, that thing sounded crazy. Okay. There we go. Okay, so Deku does do a little bit of damage, but... Oh, here we go. Domain expansion. Another move. He cannot dodge this. This is going to be pure damage on uh, Sukuna's part. Yep. Oh, my God. The damage is there, you guys. Like I said, it's not It's, it's, not, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. He's going to do the damage when he wants to do it, man. And I, I, I already knew that, though. Deku could win this, though. Slowly but surely, he's starting to get his health back. And here we go. This move will give him his health back and do major damage. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, he almost ended off with a smash. That would have been fire. But, um... Oh, yeah. It's over. It's over. And Deku clutches it up for his team, man. That was definitely tough. Last one, he takes the W. Let me know down below if y'all enjoyed that. Let me know anything, man. Just make sure to join the Discord and comment down below a whole bunch of subscriber request fights. Subscriber request video coming next, hopefully, to ISO. And like I said, video ISO gang, we out of here.